This building will soon be a youth sports facility in Lenexa, but something special will be happening behind those doors, not just conditioning and training, but the owners will be bringing awareness to a problem that far too many families are facing in our community. As the Petrowskis reconstruct this building, they have the inspiration behind it all in the back of their minds. It's crippling every day. You know, there's not a second that goes by that I don't think about her. Every wall, every tool that Andrew Petrowski will use to renovate this 2,600 square foot of space is for his daughter, Olivia. When you lose a child, you really want them to still be alive because everybody else's life kind of moves on. Three years ago, a month after turning 18 years old, she passed away from a fentanyl overdose. Being a COVID kid, when cross country and track got pretty much shut down during the COVID time, I feel idle hands, idle minds. That's kind of why I wanted to do this. She was an aspiring model, athlete, and like any other high school student, the facility called No Limit Performance KC brings together some of Olivia's passions. Back here, pretty much where I'm standing, all the way to the back is going to be turfed, sport turf. But throughout the building, there will be education. People can come and learn about her. Um, they could learn about the dangers of fentanyl. The Petrowski's hope through awareness here is there might be one less parent that has to reconstruct their own family. Being able to bring parents in, hear our story, and have maybe even their children hear our story. This will be for all youth, but they can always walk in remembering. It's for Olivia. And Lenexa, Alyssa Jackson, KSHB 41 News.